Hi, Greg Perry, the historic preservationist. Uh, yeah, welcome on site. Uh, what we're going to look at uh, some what's happening here. We're in a real drought. We've been in a drought for almost three months in the tri-state area. We're in southern New Jersey right now. Let's just take a look what's happening here. This is a lot of clay in this area. These roots were not exposed, essentially. The ground is constricting. It's constricting so much it's putting these roots up exposed, okay? So we're just gonna go over some things, uh, what's happening uh, with the house here. Take a look at the foundation. We'll keep low right here. So this happens a lot of these houses in, in this area. So I want everybody to think about this is dirt, this is clay, it's constricting. Take a look at what, what's happened here. This goes about 36 inches out, this pull away from the house. The dirt is and clay are constricting from the house. In the same token, when, when it gets so dried out, this, this earth and clay will contort this foundation and crush it. It happened two years ago. Uh, it actually caused this house to require a new well, which is about five feet from me. It actually took the well casing and crushed it. In addition, it did damage to uh, you know, the septic system. So we can see what's happening here. It's actually crushed the foundation. So you, as you can see, we're tight here with this crack and it gets wider down here. By the time you get about six foot down, that crack is 30 millimeters. And just imagine the heavy rain and the water coming in. So this goes along the whole side of the house. It actually gets it actually gets much bigger down here. Look at the size of this crack. The earth is constricting in, but it causes the foundation to crack also. It's getting wider here. It's, it's pulling in. And the foundation is cracked here. And you can see this foundation has been cracked at an earlier point. So this is a common thing. And maybe this only happens every two, three, four, five years. You go into these severe droughts, but it was only it was two years ago in uh, July, August, September. And now it's happening again. The wall's pulling away. This is a relatively new wall. And retaining walls, just, just look at this. You have, you have a whole inch in here. This small retaining wall, which is not really holding or retaining too much, but again, it's constricted here and it's pulled away. Um, maybe we can find something else over here. So there were there were some issues there were some issues here with the house. Now just imagine this is a solid concrete step, and what's happening is there's earth on the other side of this. That earth starts when you get a lot of rain, it, it starts expanding and it pushes us over, and it goes back and forth this this yin and yang type effect, and it actually pushed this wall over. This is a new wall. This has been totally concrete in. Look what's happened in four months. Everything is cracked away, right down here. This is ill-fitting right now, so uh, cracking above the top step. So the power of, of the earth to go back and forth, and, and take, take a look at this. This is a huge crack. This is a 25 millimeter crack here. So what's happening here, pulling away. So what's happening here, the earth on the other side is constricting. This heavy step is, is tending to lean and fall that way, and literally pull it and pull some of the bricks and make huge cracks in the concrete block that this house is made out of. So uh, there's no way you can stop this. You build in an area with a lot of clay and, and a lot of uh, soil, but when you're in these situations, and I think if we take a look over there, we can see a small retaining wall with another crack. So crazy, crazy things happen. Um, it's very difficult to control, if, if not at all, when, when you get into drought situations like this. And we didn't talk about subsidence yet. We'll be into subsidence for a, a podcast later on or in the very near future. But that's going to actually deal with this same issue of, of, uh, of drought, heavy rains for three, four, five months. And it's as crazy weather we're in now. Is it global warming? Who knows? It's hotter than hell today. It's 101 degrees. And, and this is one of the hottest summers on record. But the subsidence issue is going to be when we deal with trees. And the trees are sucking whatever water that's under the ground making the matter worse so it's dry it's not raining and then the trees are in need of water and, and a tree about 50 feet tall like one i'm looking at right now requires about 500 gallons a day 500 a day it has its roots 
two times the canopy. That, that canopy of the tree is 50 foot high. It has roots in its perimeter of 100 feet. So those roots actually come from that tree under this house. And they're drinking more water, any little bit of water from that already parched clay and dirt. And they're causing more constriction and more um, possibility of a foundation like this house to crack. So Greg Perry, the historic preservation signing off. So get ready to, uh, we will have a, a very good and comprehensive uh, podcast coming up on subsidence. So thanks for listening. Thanks for being on site on this hot day.